So to start off, we'll have to have both of them on a leash mm -hmm. so that we can train him to be okay with her getting closer, closer, closer. What we're looking for, Luna, and say their names with it. Mm -hmm is him to see it, see how he's like zoning in. He's like, oh my God, that's my treat. Why is she getting it? <laughs> oh my gosh. We want him to snap out of it on his own, but if he's not, oh yes, yeah. good. Then I would call him out of it. Yeah. Oh, Frankie, Frankie. Yes. And that's a situation I would 100% have expected him to maybe snap it. So if she's ever walking around right here, like in these situations, I would kind of just pull her away, separate them again. So I can tell this is all like working just on that threshold right before he snaps. Yeah. Frankie? Frank? Yes. So when I'm making food in the kitchen for them, I should just... I think one, he should have a different job to do and not be hovering. And then, so if she is coming near, it needs to be super controlled. So I wouldn't allow her during meal time or like the bone time to have the opportunity to be, even get near him. Should I like take his food out of the fridge so he knows like... Okay. Yeah. So do you want to pull Luna like over there a little bit? Back this way? Yeah. Okay. Just keep her out of the mix. Okay, tell him bed. Frankie, bed. Go tell him stay. Ah, okay. <clears throat> uh, 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 and right away when he gets up, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, reset. You just have to be firm with him, like this is the only way you're gonna get the food. And this gives him a different job to do instead of obsessing over the food stay. and guarding it. Stay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Sit. Day. But that's what you should do every meal time. Moving the food then you can be like, okay, come on. Now we'll work on him just not freaking out about Luna. Do you want to hold him and just be shifting his focus off of her? I'll take Luna. Okay. So you want to do a combination of if you're going to move Luna closer to him and the food, keep this stationary. Okay. And just constantly be snapping him out of it to work through this he has to first be in that obsessive state over the food yeah so if shannon was giving him treats and he was just d didn't care about that you don't really have him in the state working through it then yeah. it should be no treats but this is perfect look he's like looking back and forth to her and then you want to see him snap out of it on his own so this state where he's like oh my god the food's there luna's there but see the longer he's zoning for if he was off leash would have been probably the time he's attacking her. And if he's not snapping out of it, yes. oh yes, good. But that's what you want, so for him to have self-control to do it on his own, for you to not be have to be like, Frankie, Frankie, here every time Luna approaches, you have to be able to train him at that level. But we want him to snap out of it faster. Do it with her food anymore, like I have them good. eat together okay. in their room. Yeah. And then Luna eats out here. Okay, but we actually worked on that at my house too because yeah, in the beginning he would try and then I'm like, yeah, no. He, like, they both finish theirs and then like maybe he'll go and sniff but he doesn't like do it like super yeah. aggressively anymore. But hers, he does. Well, I don't trust him like being out. Like I leave them in their room and like close the door. And she eats separately? And she eats out here. Oh, okay. Got but it. She also takes longer. That's too, fine. That's better. Go yeah. And, go lay down and go back and like walk around and go back. Really? She just like takes a little bit. How long? She takes like, she takes like 15, 15, 20 minutes, but I'm like, I just don't think she likes her food. So. I wanna see if you start moving the food bowl this way, like almost towards wow. her. Look at how obsessed he is though. This is the obsession that he takes out on her and goes after her. So if he's not responding, take him back move him backwards. Yeah, you might even have to take him off the bed then. He just needs to let go with that obsession that, Frankie. oh my God, she might be getting that. Frankie. Yeah, like I'm Even if you just got him to sit and snap out of it once, look how far back he had to go to let go for 
a brief second and just getting him to snap out of it once is like barely scratching the surface on the issues you know it's like because he's snapping out of it once but then his mind i guarantee you is coming right back so then work your way back up so i think a combination of finding or less challenging thing for him where he was snapping out of it on his own is really good practice and then once it gets really hard getting him to snap out of it at least once if you guys can do that like every day i would be doing that for sure. I would be so nervous just the dogs being in this entire room when he gets into that zone state. Yeah, and it's even like when I'm making myself food, like I get Yeah. Nervous, you know, it's like I can't even make my own food. Yeah. I'm like, I have to like watch them. If you can't be on top of Frankie while there's food here like this, then I would put him in the laundry room. Yeah. So that 100% of the time he's exposed to this, you're working to lessen that obsessiveness. Because every time he's able to just be here, unleashed, have control, it feeds into his issues. So I think people think like, well, is that making matters worse? Just putting him away? But it's not. As long as you do that with this type of training, whenever you can too. And you don't have to spend this long on it, but just any time he gets into that obsessive state, snapping him out of it. I think he's ready. So finally, yes, since he doesn't care about it anymore now. <laughs> now call him out of it. Okay, Frankie. Shannon, pull him back. Yeah. Frankie. Pull him back. Wait, I want, I want her to go up to the bowl. Frankie. But first. Frankie. Oh, oh, first little. Sit. Yeah. Yes. Frankie, look. Frankie. Yes. Okay, so finally now he looked with the empty bowl, so then I'll let her go. Add in the variable of her Frankie going sits. now. Yes. And just keep in mind after this, when he's in such an escalated state and we've kind of forced him to be over here when he wants to be here, I wouldn't just like unleash him quick right here. Let them like chill out, let his mind get away from the food Frankie a bit, sits. and let them be okay. Because it's almost like during this, we bring out his worst, the jealousy issues, to Sit. work through them. So you just don't want him yes. to have the opportunity to go at her. Good job, Frankie. That was Frankie. so hard. Yes. But each time you do that, it will take him shorter and shorter to snap out of it. <laughs>